Good morning, everyone. Our opening hymn is 671 from Glory and Praise. 671. Give praise to our God. I love you. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit, the grace of our Lord Jesus Christ and the love of God, the communion of the Holy Spirit be with you all. My brothers and sisters, let us acknowledge our sins and so prepare ourselves to celebrate the sacred mysteries. I confess to Almighty God and to my brothers and sisters that I greatly sinned in my thoughts and in my words, in what I have done and what I fail to do through my fault, through my fault, through my most grievous fault. Therefore, ask the Blessed Mary, ever Virgin, all the angels and saints, and to my brothers and sisters, to pray for me to the Lord our God. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to everlasting life. Lord, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Let us pray. Grant, O oh Lord, that we may always revere and love your holy name, for you never deprive of your guidance those who set firm on the foundation of your love. Through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, God forever and ever. reading from the first letter of Paul to the Corinthians. Brothers and sisters, think of us in this way, as servants of Christ and stewards of God's mysteries. Moreover, it is required of stewards that they be found trustworthy, that I should be judged by you or by any human court. I do not even judge myself. I am not aware of anything against myself, but I am not thereby acquitted. It is the Lord who judges me. Therefore, do not pronounce judgment before the time, before the Lord comes. Who will bring light to the things now hidden in darkness and will disclose the purpose of the heart? Then each one will receive commendation from God. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. Our response, the salvation of the just comes from the Lord. The salvation of the just comes from the Lord. Trust in the Lord and do good so you will live in the land and enjoy security. Take delight in the Lord, and he will give you the desires of your heart. The salvation of the just comes from the Lord. Commit your way to the Lord. Trust in him, and he will act. 
He will make your vindication shine like the light and the justice of your cause like the noonday. The, oh, just, oh, the Lord comes from the Lord. Depart from evil and do good, so you shall abide forever. For the Lord loves justice. He will not forsake his faithful ones. The salvation of the just comes from the Lord. Depart from evil and do good, so you shall abide forever. For the Lord loves justice. He will not forsake his faithful ones. The salvation of the just comes from the Lord. The salvation of the righteous is from the Lord. He is their refuge in the time of trouble. The Lord helps them and rescues them. He rescues them from the wicked and saves them because they take refuge in him. The salvation of the just comes from the Lord. Alleluia, 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 Alleluia. I am the light of the world, says the Lord. Whoever follows me will have the light of life. Alleluia. Alleluia, Alleluia. The Lord be with you. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Luke. The scribes and the Pharisees said to Jesus, John's disciples, like the disciples of the Pharisees, frequently fast and pray, but your disciples eat and drink. Jesus said to them, you cannot make wedding guests fast while the bridegroom is with them, can you? The days will come when the bridegroom will be taken away from them, and then they will fast in those days. Jesus also told them a parable. No one tears a piece from a new garment and sews it on the old garment, otherwise the new will be torn and the piece from the new will not match the old. And no one puts new wine into old wineskins, otherwise the new wine will burst the skins and will be spilled and the skins will be destroyed. But new wine must be put into fresh wineskins, and no one, after drinking old wine, decides new wine, but says the old is good. The Gospel of the Lord. In the gospel, we heard that the Pharisees and scribes were making a complaint about Jesus and his disciples because they were not fasting, like the disciples of John the Baptist. John the Baptist's disciples were very ascetic people. They followed a certain lifestyle. But Jesus was not severe in the fasting. But Jesus did fast, you know, 40 days and 40 nights. But he did not insist the old tradition of fasting. Usually Jewish people fasted two days a week. Basically, after the supper, you wait until next supper. So all day you don't fast. Uh, you don't eat, sorry. You don't eat. So that is about fasting. So the fasting is really valid. Even today people fast because of religious reason, even for health reason too. So fasting is something good, uh, good for your body, good for your soul too. 
when you fast, you also pray, basically making it a point that you are serious about your prayer. You are making a request to God and God take it seriously. So some people fast once a week. In the past, we used to fast like every Friday, but now that we have reduced that into Good Friday and Ash Wednesday, but if you have health reasons, you can do it. If you are exempt from fasting, but fasting is still good. People fast for maybe one day or three days or seven days. I hear people do this. Um, so that is something very important. It's not something not canceled by Jesus. But Jesus was saying when the bridegroom is uh, with them, uh, the groom's friends, they won't be fasting. Because for Jewish people, they had these seven days of celebration of wedding. So during that time, they were exempt from fasting. So now they are spending time with the Jesus. So they don't need to be gloomy and fasting. Time will come, they will be fasting. That means when Jesus died, when he is crucified, when Jesus is not with them, they will start fasting too. So Jesus is also talking about the new clothes and the new wine. You can mix up these things because Jesus' teachings are like new wine or new clothes. You can mix it with the old or put in the old wine skin, uh, the new wine. So it's very important that uh, we take Jesus' uh, teachings as something new. It's not like in the Old Testament. So as we reflect on the Word of God today, let us pray that uh, we will try to understand what Jesus is saying and practice what we taught. With the trust in God's loving will, let us make our petitions known to him. For all discerning leadership positions in the church, may the Holy Spirit fill them with the courage and wisdom. Let us pray to the Lord. For state and national leaders, may a God of justice guide them in their efforts toward building a more just society. Let us pray to the Lord. For all who are affected by war or violence, May they experience the Lord's peaceful and comforting presence. Let us pray to the Lord. For well, this assembly gathered here, may God give us courage in our efforts to love our neighbor each day. Let us pray to the Lord. For all the souls who departed, especially Fernando, whom you remember in this Holy Mass, and all those whom we want to pray for, may they be welcomed joyfully into the kingdom of heaven. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord Let us also pray for our personal intentions in silence. Let us pray to the Lord. Father, we ask that you hear our prayers and answer them according to your will, through Christ our Lord.
Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation. For through your goodness we have received the bread we offer you, fruit of the earth and work of human hands. It will become for us the bread of life. Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation. Through your goodness we have received the wine we offer you. Fruit of the wine and walk of human hands, it will become our spiritual drink. Pray, brothers and sisters, that my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. Receive, O Lord, the sacrifice of conciliation and praise, and grant and cleanse by its action we may make offering of a heart pleasing to you, through Christ our Lord. The Lord be with you. Lift up your hearts. We lift them up. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is truly right and just our duty and our salvation, always and everywhere, to give you thanks. Lord, Holy Father, Almighty and Eternal God, who when your children were scattered afar by sin, through the blood of your Son and the power of the Holy Spirit, you gathered them again to yourself that a people formed as one by the unity of the Trinity made the body of Christ and the temple of the Holy Spirit might to the praise of your manifold wisdom be manifest as the church. And so in company of the choirs of angels we praise you as in joyful celebration we acclaim. Holy, holy, holy Lord God of hosts, heaven and earth are full of your glory. O Sana in the highest, Blessed is he, comes in the name of the Lord, O Sana in the highest. You are indeed holy, O Lord, the font of all holiness. Make holy, therefore, these gifts, you pray, by sending down a spirit upon them like the dewfall, so that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed and ended willingly in his passion, he took bread and giving thanks, broke it and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it, for this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was sent, he took the chalice, and once more giving thanks, he gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it, for this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The mystery of faith. We proclaim your death, O Lord, and profess your resurrection until you come again. Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you are held as worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray that partake in the body and blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church spread throughout the world. Bring her to the fullness of charity together with Francis, our Pope, Jara, our bishop, and all the clergy. Remember your servants, Fernando, whom you have called from this world to yourself. 
grant that he who has united with your son in a death like his may also be one of them in his resurrection. Remember also, brothers and sisters, who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection, and all have died in your mercy. Welcome them in the light of your face. Have mercy on us all, we pray, that of the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, the Blessed Joseph, our spouse, the Blessed Apostles, and all the saints who are pleased you throughout the ages, we may merit to be co-heirs to eternal life, and may praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through him, and with him, and in him, O God Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. Amen. At the Savior's command of whom by divine teaching, we dare to say, Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name, thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as if we forgive those who trespass against us. Lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray, from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress as we the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ, for the kingdom. Lord Jesus Christ, you said, Apostles, peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on the our sins, but on the faith of your church, and graciously grant a peace and unity in accordance with your will. We live and reign forever and ever. Amen. The peace of the Lord be with you always. Now uh, let's offer each other the sign of peace. Lamb of God. Take the sins of the world. Have mercy on us, Lamb of God. Take the sins of the world. Have mercy on us. Behold the Lamb of God. Behold him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those called the Sup of the Lamb. Lord, I am not worthy that you should enter my roof, but to listen to the word, my soul shall be healed.
Let us pray. Renewed and nourished by the sacred body and precious blood of your Son, we ask of your mercy, O Lord, that what we celebrate with the constant devotion may be our sure pledge of redemption through Christ our Lord. We fly to thy protection, O Holy Mother of God, despise and our petitions and our necessities, but deliver us a glorious and blessed Virgin. Amen. St. Michael the Archangel, defend us in the day of battle. Be a protection against the wickedness and snares of the devil. May God of you can be humbly pray. And do thy Prince of the Heavenly Host, by the power of God, cast into hell Satan and all the evil spirit prowl throughout the world, seeking the ruin of souls. Amen. Good Saint Joseph, a watchful guardian of the Holy Family, protect the chosen people of Jesus Christ. Keep us free from the blind error of corruption. Be our ally in the conflict with the powers of darkness. As of fall, we rescue child Jesus from the plots of Herod. So now defend the universal church from all harm. Keep us on and all until continual protection, so that by your help and example, you may lead a holy life, die a happy death, and come to possess eternal life in heaven. Amen. The Lord be with you. May Almighty God bless you, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Let us go in the peace of Christ. Thanks. Glory and praise to our God. The Lord. God bless you and have a good day.